Hi everyone, In today's topic is all about the command line arguments. So we are already in chapter 8. So at the end of this lesson, we should be able to know and explain what a command line argument is. Get input from the user using command line arguments. Command line arguments is a Java application that can accept any number of arguments from the command line. So a command line argument allows the users to affect the operation of an application for one invocation. And the user also enters command line arguments when invoking the application and specifies them after the name of the class to run. So say for example, if we have a program named sort, so the the arguments there are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and they are separated by spaces when you invoke an application the runtime system passes the command line arguments to the application's main method via an array of strings so here in this main method the arguments passes to these args variable so each string in the array contains one of the command line arguments so if this uh, if the arguments are being input are converted into uh, a string array so everything everything that we input via command line will be uh, an array in an array format okay, so in the previous slide given the example let's say java sort 54321 so the arguments are stored in the args array of the main method declaration. So if, so as I have said, these these uh, arguments are being converted to an array or an string array declaration. So let's have an example of using the arguments. So in this example program, this will display all the inputs coming from the command line. So let's try this example. So suppose we have the main method, let's say public static void main string arc. So this is already the array which will uh, be the pathway, the arguments. Uh, this, this will be the pathway wherein the arguments will pass through. Okay. We are go. We are just going to display what are the the input arguments in the command line, showing that the arguments from or the arguments being invoked via command line uh, can pass through the main method string arguments. Uh, let's say we open a for loop. Let's say for int i then i is less than the args that length first is we will measure the length of the array coming from the coming from the arg arguments from the command line then we increment i then let's display let's say system that out print ln then we will display the arg since, since it is an array so we will use args input so i okay, so let's try this example okay, we save it as uh, one line argument Let's try run this program. So we have Java C command line arguments that Java. Oops, there is an error. Let's correct the error. So the initialized value. Okay, so no error. Let's run. So the input will be invoked immediately after the let's say five, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so it displays the output. So it means that the uh, arguments passes to the string arguments. So there will be no limit as long as that the array can hold the value. So yeah. So, if your program needs to support a numeric command line argument, it must convert a string argument that represents a, a number, let's say such as 34, to a number. So, we will use the integer that parse int, double that parse double, float that parse double, or parsing a string to a specific uh, number data type. So, yun mga gagamitin natin. And, in the parse int method, it, in the integer class, it throws the number format exemption or an uh, error if the ar the format of the arc zero is not valid or not a number. Siyempre, if we process the the input numbers and we convert it to an uh, something like an, in a string value and the input number is an integer, so there there is probably an, a number format exemption or an error for a specific input in the argument okay. then before using command line arguments always check the number of arguments before accessing the array element so that there will be no exemption generated okay. say for example if your program needs the user to input five arguments we will limit it to five if the number exceeds in the length so it can you can print out invalid number of arguments or you can return a message let's say please enter five arguments or else something some, some, uh, some of your results here okay uh, let's do the sorting let's just try some sorting program about uh, sorting a certain number Okay, so let's have an example of sorting an array using command line arguments. So we will just use the, the sorting function or method that is already built in in Java. So we will import java.util.array. Yeah. Okay. Then, so since we have an example of let's say a five arguments input so if the input since the input is considered to be a string what we are going to do is uh, we will declare an array an integer array for the args for the string array args to be uh, parsed or convert to an integer so the all the inputs from the arguments will be converted to string using the integer that parse so new so let's just try five five arguments then, so we will now convert the input okay, for int i equal to 0. Then, i is less than the parts that length. Then, i increment. Okay, then. So for every value of R, I will be equal to the arguments of args. I mean in here that parse int then args I index I. So this for loop will convert the the arguments, the string arguments to an integer. Then we call now the array that's 
sort sort function or sort, sort method of Java then we use R for argument so for in J equal to 0 in J is less than the J is less less than the R J and I sorry. Okay, so let's compile program. So error. Okay, so that's the sorting. So let's try unsorted. So that ends with command line arguments, how to access the arguments, how to convert the string arguments into integer using the parsing method. So okay, so thank you and have a nice day.